Hi, I'm Joy Fay and I'm an artist and teacher and I've been teaching for many, many years. And this is part of my mini series on abstract paintings. This is part two. So if you haven't seen part one yet, go back and watch that and then come back here because then this will make more sense. So in that first video, we talked about our why, our reason for wanting to paint abstracts. And in this video, we're going to talk about the fear that might stop you from doing that. And <laughs> it reminds me of that lovely book, you know, feel the fear and do it anyway. And actually that couldn't be more right, could it really? You know, we have to dive in there and find out. The problem is, or the challenge is, that we can tend to have a head full of criticism of ourselves that we're not good enough, we don't know what we're doing, we're not an artist, you know, it's going to be a mess, it'll look like a child's painting, you know, da di da di da All those kind of negative things that can inhibit us from painting and indeed anything else <laughs> if we think about it. So how do we get over that? Well, one of the things that I am really passionate about in my painting is help people, helping people get into the creative side of their brain. If we think about the right hand side and the left hand side of our brain, the left hand side is our linear side. It's where we have all our thinking and our right side of the brain is where we have all our creativity. Now, there can be, if we're not careful, a battle royal between the two, because the thinking says, you know, I was told when I was a child that I couldn't paint or that I was hopeless or whatever. It goes off on a tangent of, I don't know, negatives. It can tend to, um, of stopping us from allowing ourselves to be creative. Now, before all that happened, when we were painting as children, we would just paint. We would tell our stories, you know, we would have our house and our tree and our little gate and the cat and the dog and, you know, mummy and daddy or whatever. We would tend to just tell our stories with our paintings when we were a child. And then something might have happened, not to everybody, but it certainly happened to me. <laughs> and I know many people that it has. That somebody comes along and says, oh, that's stupid or, you know, what's that supposed to be or whatever. That then kind of blocks that creativity. And from there on in, we've been very shy and inhibited of just letting go and seeing what happens. So getting back to that childlike feeling of enjoying paintings can be a great fear to many people and if that is that if that applies to you I completely understand but I'm going to take you through a process where you can find your way in to releasing that hidden creativity you know discover the artist in you <laughs> it's a bit cliche but it actually does that it kind of lifts those fears and those trepidations of being creative and helps you find a way in to exploring that creativity within you. And everybody is different. You know, we might set a subject, for example, and I've done this on many occasions in many classes. In fact, sometimes I've actually stood at the front of the class and given a whole demonstration for people to copy. <coughs> excuse me and nobody has done the same thing everybody has done it differently <laughs> so we're all different we're all special and we all have our own creativity so I want you to think about that really deeply that what what you're going to express in your art is completely unique to you so that's number one number two is that if you allow yourself just to move into that right side of the brain and start something that you haven't got any sort of preconceived ideas about, you're just going to see what happens, even if it's just scribbling. You know, those scribbles can turn into something amazing. I mean, you know, if you looked at, say, Jackson Pollock <laughs> and his great splashes on those big paintings, 
you know, what is that? That's a fantastic expression of how he was feeling. And they've stood this test of time, haven't they? <laughs> you know, they're amazing. And we look at them, we go, well, anyone could do that, but anyone doesn't. You know, most of us say, oh, I can't do that because it's, you know, silly or it's, you know, what a child would do. But actually, it's more, <laughs> it's much more than that. So I want you to kind of think about how to, uh, how you want to paint, how you would feel if you could just express yourself, if you could put those strokes down on, on that paper, or even if it was dots or scribbles or whatever, and how releasing that would be. And, you know, to start with, it's for no one else's eyes. It's just for you to get into the process, to get used to yourself being creative. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can start that. So feeling the fear and do it anyway. <laughs> what is stopping you? Do you know? So if you start being clear about those, those thoughts and those feelings and identify them, then you've got something to work on. You can say, OK, well, that's what I sometimes think, but I'm actually going to go against the grain and do something for myself. So we're going to cover that in the next video coming up very soon. In between times, do go to my website, joyfayartist.com, and you can find there um, a free download on colour mixing and also a free print. And leave me a comment about what your greatest fear is. You know, share it because I think you'll find if, if you know, everybody writes a comment that we're all so similar. We're all similar in thinking, you know, what are people going to think and is this good enough or, you know, all that stuff. So I'll be interested to read those. And then when we come to the end of the course and we write our comments, then how it will have changed from this one to that. So something exciting to look forward to. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video where we're going to start actually creating something wonderful. Bye for now. Take care.